Hello beautiful people. Today we're starting security operations, which is part of introduction to cybersecurity module. Three tasks in total. We have task number one, introduction to security operations. Here we can see a diagram of picture with a SOC center, let's say. A security operations center, or SOC for short, is a team of IT security professionals tasked with monitoring a company's network and systems 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Their purpose of monitoring is to find vulnerabilities on the network, detect unauthorized activity, discover policy violations, detect intrusions and support with the incident response. Let's go one by one. Find vulnerabilities on the network. A vulnerability is a weakness that an attacker can exploit to carry out things beyond their permission level. A, vulnerab a vulnerability might be discovered in any devices, software, operating system and programs on the network, such as servers or a computer. For instance, the SOC might discover a set of MS Windows computers that must be patched against a specific published vulnerability. Strictly speaking, vulnerabilities are not necessarily the SOC's responsibility. However, unfixed vulnerabilities affect the security level of the entire company. Detect an authorized activity. Consider the case where an attacker discovers the username and the password of one of the employees and uses it to log into the company's system. It is crucial to detect this kind of unauthorized activity quickly before it causes any damage. Many clues can help us to detect this, such as geographic location. Discover policy violations. A security policy is a set of rules and procedures created to help and protect the companies against security threats and ensure compliance. What is considered a violation would vary from one company to another. Examples include downloading pirated media files and sending confidential company files insecure. Detect intrusions. Intrusions refer to the system and network intrusions. One example scenario would be an attacker successfully exploiting our web application. Another example scenario would be a user visiting a malicious site and getting their computer infected. Support with the incident response. An incident can be an observation, a policy violation, an intrusion attempt, or something more damaging such as ma a major breach. Responding correctly to a server incident is not an easy task. The society of gamers... <laughs> Wait, we are in a different movie there. The security operations centers can support the incident response team handle the situation. This room focuses on the security operations center services and everyday work. We recommend that you finish the introduction to defensive security room before going through this one. Answer the questions below. What does SOC stand for? Security operation centers. How many hours a day does the SOC monitor the network? 24 hours a day. So if you want to be part of a SOC team, a security operation center, you might work a night shift. So have that in mind. 